<laughs> we didn't like to get you an intro, bro. Everybody got uh, an intro. Yeah, Welcome back, yeah. Brinkers. <laughs> Brie and Q. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The Brinks. <laughs> no. The Brinks? You remember the movie Brinks from <laughs> yeah. Disney, the Stadium yeah. movie? <laughs> 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 that's all right. That's all I think I think of when I think of that. What's up, everybody? All right. What's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Give us some tips in the comments of what you think our intro should be. I feel like we need an intro. Yeah, we do. I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately, y'all, so yeah. I feel like we need an intro. Something to draw people in. They're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the what's up, everybody? It's your boy Q and your girl Bree. I oh, know. That ain't really That's you. like a play off of yours. Yeah. You need something original. I am Q, though. Q or Q? <laughs> Q. Brie, I've been drinking, y'all. Whatever. Says the guy with a drink in his hand right now. <laughs> As you, so if you see him drinking, you know why. It's something relationship related. Or <laughs> yeah. something serious, not <laughs> We've we been two two minutes, we ain't talking about what the hell we're talking right. about. We've been to Cheddar's, y'all. Yeah. We haven't been to Cheddar's in a while, and I've been begging Quincy to take me to Cheddar's. Yeah. And he finally took me to Cheddar's, and he yeah. had the most fun. Living. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Them. You see? The roses are so good. The roses are so good. I wanted to cry. Bro. Like, yeah, they were so good. Croissants. They weren't rolls. Croissants. I've been saying that. Oh my you God. Been rolls. <laughs> they were rolls. I don't remember being croissants like that. They've always been croissants. If you're a true Shatters fan, they've been grunts. Grunts? <laughs> Man, they were delicious. Oh my God. I just, anyway. I was just laughing because they were so good. Like, <laughs> he shed one tear, y'all. I did. I almost <laughs> cried. They were so good. All right, guys. So, anyways, today's video is. One year of marriage. So, mm -hmm. making this video, we're a year and a month in at this point. Yeah, it's November. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three years and a month. So that's our last so. video when we did the bottle and the, the yeah. So, yeah, so the came. last video that y'all saw was my birthday, but before then, y'all saw our anniversary where we broke the bottle. The yeah. bottle still ain't broke, y'all. We still got like three or four more little piece of paper this in there. Yeah, but. It's fine. <laughs> whatever. We're supposed to break the rest in this video, but whatever. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. But we just wanted to give you guys an update on how the first year of marriage has been. I feel like that's like still a question we get because of course we got engaged, when's the wedding? And then it's like, okay, y'all are married when y'all having kids, when you don't buying a house, when you doing this. So we just wanted to give you guys just a quick little update on how things have been going, um, mm -hmm. things that we've learned over yeah. the year. year. <laughs> I say years, but because yeah. Quincy and I have been together for, I guess, coming Man, about I seven years. I forgot now. I forget. It's six or seven. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I'm like, damn. Somebody, I think it was your mom asked, and then I, I like blank for a minute because usually I have been the one to know, no. and I'm always looking at. No, him I'd be the one to know. Yes. Anyways, no. so I was the one that already knew how many years we had been, but now I'm like blanking. Just it's like six or seven. I don't know, but you don't count it no more. You just okay, kept so, the marriage years now. From well, no. Okay, so we met before my 25th birthday. We were together when I was 25. I turned 30 this year, so I'm gonna say we met at 24. It's been six or seven years. It's one or two. It's six years. You sure? We was engaged. Yeah, we was in, we was we together, together for five. At 25. We was together for three. I proposed after two, not after three or two. We've been together for like three years. When you yeah, first. it's five. And then we were engaged yeah. for so it's six years. We're coming up on six. I don't know. I'm somewhere in there. Six. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So. Together when I was 24. Y'all know I turned 30. Do the math. <laughs> I just said six years. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> you didn't seem very sure. Anyways. <laughs> We just wanted to give y'all a marriage update to tell y'all how things have been going and all the things. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So first thing up, how has marriage been going? Yeah. It's been going good. So the Lord was playing tricks on us because <laughs> we went into quarantine the first year of marriage. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so no. imagine it. Picture it. If y'all ever watched Golden Girls, picture it. <laughs> uh, just one bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. no door. First year of marriage, quarantine, working from home, boom. boom. <laughs> so yeah. it actually hasn't been that bad. No, we had, we had our bad. days. We had our days. And you know, it didn't happen like in the beginning. I felt like we were still on a low key high from being at home. home. Yeah. We were like, okay, we work from home. home. And then it started to set in like, oh, we about to be at home home. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think around what? what was that? June, July, not about August or so. Yeah, so we went home in March. Yeah, I um, came March. home before Quincy did, I but she came home like, like what, two days later? Like two days later. It was yeah. like February. March. Whatever. Um, it was after his, no, it was before your birthday. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, neither here nor there. But it was March when I came home and then he, so I was like, okay, mindset, Bree's about to be at home by herself all day. Literally the next day, he's like, hey, I'm coming home for two. Like, we're good too. So I'm like, what up, ah. <laughs> <laughs> No, when I tell you, 
think I was in that mindset that's so like, ooh, I'm about to be at home by myself. <laughs> look, look, picture it. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, so that was probably I would say like our first official challenge yeah, of being man. at home because we're like we're staring at each other twenty four seven and like first year of marriage. So I know you're supposed to be, you know, all lovey dovey and mm-hmm. all up under each other, but then that was like a shock for us because yeah. Quincy and I are very like we like our personal time. Mm-hmm. So for us, that was an adjustment because it's like okay, we both had in our mind like okay, he was saying I'm about to go to work, I get a break from her <laughs> at least eight hours out the day. Me, I'm like okay, I'm about to be at home, I get a break from Quincy yeah. eight hours out the day. He gonna right. come home at this time. So that was probably like our first adjustment, just being at home together. But it was like we said, it wasn't that bad. Um, we definitely have had our days where it's just like oh, you're talking too loud or oh my god. Bruh. We still had that. that. We still that was the biggest thing. We didn't want to be lobster, no door, yes. like she said. Yeah, it was fun. And it was cute when we found the we apartment. We found it was cute, but it was now, so cute. Like, now we're bruh. like, what were we thinking? Yeah. <laughs> so I'd be on the phone with my bees and calls or whatever, yes. and Brielle, she, she, yeah, I just yeah, snap it. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm not even that loud, bro. I'm not even being that loud. If y'all don't know him by now. I'm he not loud. Hugh gets very loud when he gets excited. I get excited, I get a little so loud. So I can tell when he's excited when he's talking about something because he gets real loud. <laughs> he has personal conversations too on speakerphone at that. <laughs> so me, I'm like, I don't want to hear your meetings. I don't want to hear your personal conversations. You know, that's where it says a woman. You be like, oh, what's my man talking about? Me, I'm like, I don't want to hear your conversation. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm just picking on him. Nah, I know. But, I know. Yeah. Yeah. but no, that was just like one adjustment. So hey, if you yeah. engaged, or thinking about getting engaged and you think about moving in with each other, mm. get a door. Yeah. It's cute in the beginning, you just get a door. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. I think we wish we would have a door too. But. Yeah, but other than that, it's been pretty good. We haven't had like too no. much. So, you know, the first year of marriage, you have all these big plans. Mm-hmm. So for us, it was like, okay, we're going to travel. So we have her, Quincy and I have taken like one trip together. Well, two now mm-hmm. since we've been together. But the second one, our honeymoon, remember, we were supposed to push it back, but we ended up taking our honeymoon right after yeah. our wedding. But we were like, okay, 2020, we traveling. We just hitting yeah, the planes. Like, we in the sky. And Ooh, then yeah. COVID. <laughs> so we right here. <laughs> right here. So, yeah. So, thank God we took our honeymoon when we did. Thank yeah. God we got married when we did. Because I was yeah. like, I can only imagine what planning a wedding would be like right now. So, yeah, shout out to all of y'all who have planned a wedding during COVID. Look, mm-hmm. Much love. Because I was like, it was stressful enough without COVID. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. we were just supposed to travel this year. This is supposed to be our year because, of course, we wanted to experience a little bit more of the world before we start having kids and stuff. Right. So that kind of altered a few things. I will say, we mean, we have, I mean, 2020 hasn't been a bad year. No, probably for us, at least. Yeah, I, we've like, both been you blessed know, to have our yes, jobs. Yes, we've definitely been very blessed yes. this entire yeah. year. I feel like we've experienced a lot. We've been able to grow a lot this year. So all in all, I feel like it's been a very good year relationship-wise. Personally, I feel like we've grown and everything. Yeah. So... It, 2020 hasn't been that bad so but we have experienced loss in like my family and just losses around you know with other families, families yeah and then just experiencing the day-to-day struggles but other than that first year of marriage has been pretty good yeah, it's pretty good it's, it's going by pretty fast it went by very yes, fast actually. it did because we started thinking about like man just this time last yeah. year we was planning this we it's was pulling our hair out yeah. about this so yeah yeah but but yeah. I, you know, I, I agree with everything said it's, yeah yeah it's been pretty good all right, guys. So, of course, you know, a lot of people think me and Brielle are like this perfect couple, right? Like, we don't argue. <laughs> we don't have fallouts. Y'all just don't know. We just paint a pretty old Look, picture for she, y'all. She beats me. <laughs> I'm blinking. Whatever. <laughs> no. Nah, if y'all really know me, <laughs> y'all know I'm a lover and not a fighter. No, nah, no. Nah, see, that's the, that's the facade she giving on. Now, Brielle is going to be a great mother. I'm going to say that. Whatever. Man, Brielle. <laughs> y'all. Brielle be on me be like white on rice. I leave a cup out. Quincy, where this cup come from? Nah, I give him a minute, y'all. What? I give him a minute. Nah, 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 bro. nah, 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 of course, everybody think we perfect, so, but no, we actually, we don't really argue. Yeah. We have disagreements. We bicker. I we bicker. Yeah, we don't really <laughs> fight. Like, we, yeah. we bicker back and forth. We have a little. It ain't no all that, like, fight. Yeah, like, like, fight ah, like yeah, you know, it yeah. ain't that. Maybe but, in our heads. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that. We just have disagreements. So, yeah. I remember the, uh, and so, we just want to talk about, like, how we handle those disagreements. So, I remember the one, the biggest one we had, I think, if you agree with this one, the biggest one we had was saying. about. <laughs> when COVID first happened, guys. Oh yeah. And I was telling Bria. Call that one, but okay, continue. That was, I think that's the biggest one we had. Like we was actually yelling in that one. 
in the parking lot. And anyway, so I'm gonna tell the story. So, oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So, anyway, <laughs> so when COVID here. first hit, I was telling Brielle, like, hey, we should go get some groceries and everything just in case, you know, stuff ran out. And she was just, no, so adamant that, no, we don't have to. I know, to. I was a non COVID believer when she didn't COVID believe first it. came around. I was like, nah, we good. Like, and I'm yeah. a conspiracy, so I believed it. I, I, I was all on board. I got, we got a big thing of water still sitting back there. Let me show y'all. Look, Yo, he yeah. bought this big old jug of water. I bought this big old jug of water. And I was like, <laughs> what we are we supposed to do with this? <laughs> we still ain't drinking yet, yeah, so you want some water. I know, right? We'll, we'll go buy so, some water. <laughs> so anyway, so I was like, hey, we should get, so, hold on, let me sit down. So I was like, hey, we should get some groceries, you know, just in case stuff get bad. And she was just, nah, ain't everything fine, blah, blah, blah. We good. We, we good. Both, we'll say, in my defense, y'all, we bulk shop already. We are a Sam's Club yeah. members, so we bulk shop once a month. So yeah. I was like, we're good, you yeah. know? I like, like hey, I said, non-COVID believer at the moment. Like, so, this is March. So, yeah. So, she, so, 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 finally, she goes, I don't know if it was just time to order groceries. So, she goes to get groceries, and she comes back home talking about they ain't have none of the meat we needed. I'm like, uh, why is that? Everything was sold out. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go there tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stuff, Sherlock. You know what I'm saying? So I told like I said because all the food was. I kept telling her like, go to the store. Let's go to the store early. Anyway, that was the whole blow up. So we we they, we didn't have really any meat. I ain't gonna say any. No, it was had, a lot of stuff we missing. We had food, y'all. It was like the normal stuff that we would get. It was the meat. Didn't have. All the meat. What were we gonna eat? Okay. Ain't no meat. Y'all, we had. Food. <laughs> All the we, meat was gone. Look, when I tell y'all we did not go hungry, we had food. We didn't go hungry. So that's why I was not as stressed as Mr. Whatever. Williams. So I told her. <laughs> anyway, so that was a whole blow. So we get to the parking lot. She talking yeah. about our, everything was missed. There was, they didn't have a lot of stuff we needed. So I was mad because I kept telling her, let's go. And she was like, no. And so literally in the middle of the parking lot, not in the middle of the parking lot, in the parking lot, guys, we were like fussing about Hot twist, though. food. Y'all, like, I went to pick up the groceries by myself. So they got loaded in the car by yeah. myself, picking up stuff by myself. They load the groceries for you. It was by myself. Oh my God. I, so I had worked all day and went to go pick up a slip. Because I think it, so at this time I was still at work because I remember going to work talking about him. So it was fun. <laughs> so I got home. So it was all day work. So of course, you know, him being him, <laughs> he was in the parking lot talking. So <laughs> when you didn't work all day, nah. and then you, of course you already beat yourself up. You I didn't work all day. I went to pick up the groceries and I went to two places. I went to Walmart and Sam's, y'all. So I got all the groceries, loaded it up. Everything's loaded in my car. They loaded got it home. for you. I'm just saying everything was put in the car. <laughs> you act like you physically did it. <laughs> Can I tell my story? Don't try to get on the side story. No, Anybody feel sorry for her? We almost starved to death because we didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't. We never starved, y'all. So that's why I'm like, no, uh, you can right. take that back because okay. people have actually gone without you. You're right. You're right. So, yeah, I, I, we right. did not go hungry. We did not. I apologize. So, anyways, it's been a long day. First thing that comes in my ears, this one over no. here. No, actually, I didn't say nothing. I was just quiet because I was mad. I ain't had nothing to say. You said something. No. That's what started the argument. No, about me. Started you would have said something. I wouldn't have said anything. Because no. I was already in my own. You probably said something I just told you about to say. Anyways. <laughs> so, anyway, that was a, yes. to my knowledge, that was a big. So, we in the middle of the parking lot just yes. yeah, yeah, yes. yelling. And it had been a long day, and he said something, so that sparked me. So, it was of just like, yeah, we if we ordered groceries, I wouldn't have said, said nothing. nothing. <laughs> if we just ordered groceries, like I said, nothing would have been said. We would have been happy. Anyway. You actually went to, you went to the store. You just didn't get no, food. No, no, yes, you did. no, 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 no. You bought toilet paper. No, you no, bought toilet no, no. What oh, yeah, 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 that was before COVID, yeah, I was one of one to buy a whole bunch of toilet paper. Yeah, so I talked about him at work, because I'm like, he went out and spent hundreds of dollars on all this stuff, so I thank him now. Yep, yeah, I had he everything. Came in handy, you had everything, so I will say, like, my parents and friends <laughs> always pinpoint him, they were like, man, Quincy was already on it before other people were, because by the mm -hmm. time everybody had, like, caught on to, oh, crap, we need stuff. Boy. We already had him, so. Hey, so I better watch like, the movie. The movies, movies, I'm telling y'all. Y'all, the movies they be showing y'all on TV, that shit is real. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> you know, they, they putting it right in front of your face. So, when it's, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Anyway, Q-tip. Whatever. <laughs> all right, brink tip. So, all, right. all of that to All of that yeah. So, how we resolve conflict. <laughs> yeah. Be high, high. Well, I guess to recap, like, like, like Quincy said, like, we don't really, like, argue like that. We no. bicker. 
And I, I hate to say it, like, sometimes when we are bigger, we're like, one of us is laughing through the whole thing. So, that's like, yeah, pissing the other one off. You be for real? Right yeah. So, it's like a funny joke or whatever. <laughs> like, we very rarely have had arguments or anything where it's been, like, serious. I can probably count on one hand mm. how many, like, serious arguments that we've had in the six years that we've been together. So, yeah. I'd say, hey, that's pretty much Yeah, that's pretty So, yeah. Anyways. So, with keep conflict. Living. I bet some people in the real, camera. I know. Y'all right, say, yeah, keep, keep living. living. Yeah, so <laughs> you're a man, yeah, go ahead. Um, because I know for me, I'm the like shut down person, and I don't want to talk about it. You need to give me a minute before I actually say something. Because for me, I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna say something, it may not be nice in the moment, and I'm not a mean person, but you know, you just you act on emotions. <laughs> go ahead, you act on emotions. Continue. Go ahead. Why are you laughing? <laughs> go ahead. Anyways, so for me, usually with conflict, I try to like. I either own up to my stuff, I, like I said, try, try to own up to what I've done, or just apologize. Hey, that's not how that that's you know I didn't mean to say it that way, or mm. it came out wrong. Because usually for me, it'll eat it. If something's eating at me, I know I was wrong, and that's usually when I come to him and apologize. Be like, hey, that's not what I meant. So I can either say that's not what I meant. Let me clarify it, mm. or completely that's not what I meant. I'm sorry, I was upset. You know. So I feel like with conflict, you know, we have that conflict. I feel like we take a break. And just kind of like separate, not in like a long term, but like one person goes to the back, one person up here, and then one of us comes tail between legs. And like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> or, yeah. yeah. Well, no, that's usually both of us. I miss a toss up. Yeah, it's a toss up. I, I, I think I do say, it. I feel like I, I do apologize. Yeah, she does. Yeah. I think I do it a little faster. Like, yeah, it'd be yeah. same day. Yeah, I feel me. like it eats at him a little bit more because he doesn't like silence. Yeah. And me, if I'm mad, I'm like, look, give she me a break. Yeah. Give me shut down completely. Like. Deactivate. So Bria's like next day. So like the next yeah. morning, she'll be like, "Can we talk about what happened yesterday?" Yeah. Me being the male, I just moved on. But yeah. I'm like, okay, but yeah. So I'm mm-hmm. like same day within an hour. She's next yeah. day. Yeah. Know? Sometimes so, same day depends. Like I said, most time you let it. I feel like the last conflict we've had. Yeah, it was the next day. It was the next day. Yeah. Yeah. And it happened. It happened during a date night, and so so I apologize for when it happened. But for me, I still had to explain why I was upset, which he understood and stuff. So I was like, I could have handled it a different way, but I still meant what I said, you mm-hmm. know, in the moment or whatever. Nothing was said like mean or aggressive or anything like that. I was like, I still meant what I said. I could have handled it differently, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, I still meant what I said. So let's try to walk from there. And thankfully, Quincy here, he explained, you know, me not explained. He understood where I was coming from, which helps the situation a little bit better. It makes it a little bit tougher if that person still doesn't understand because then I feel like that's recycling the fight, basically. Because yeah. <laughs> they're like, you don't still understand what I'm trying to say. We're just going to be right back where we started. Yeah. So um, I would just say for ladies, you know, of course, we've all heard this before. Pick and choose your battles. Mm, everything um, can be a battle. Yeah. Own up to when you're wrong. I know that's the biggest one. That's why that's one I definitely have to learn. Own up when you're wrong. Um, and just be willing to like talk it out. I know a lot of people just don't want to talk about talk about it. They yeah. sweep it under the rug and they be like, okay, you know, if it comes up again, we'll discuss it. But I'm like, don't let it come up again because it can be ten times worse. Yeah. You know. So that's only I can. No, I, I can, think so. You know, okay. say about it. Yeah, I agree. Like like you said, just talk about it. Like sometimes it's hard to have those tough conversations. You know. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. sometimes we're literally literally like just cut out TV and sit on the couch and be like, okay, yeah. mm-hmm. what happened? Let's have a real conversation. Real conversation. Yeah. Like, sit mm-hmm. down, just like, hey. Mm-hmm. And you can't be, like, I always say this sounds bad, but you can't be scared to hurt each other's feelings. Like, yeah. I, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Mm-hmm. You know, I love you. I'm just trying to make us better. So, yeah. I'm going to be, it's that brute honesty, mm-hmm. you know, but it's needed sometimes. I'm not, if you know me and I love you, she loves me, she's not trying to hurt me, yeah. you know. It's just, I'm it, trying to make it stand. Trying to make it stand. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I think just having those tough conversations sometimes, man, like, just really sitting, I'm not bad, I'm just scratching yeah. <laughs> Just literally sitting down and just, just talking, so yeah. I think we do that pretty well, though. We'll, we'll yeah. talk. If something going on, eventually we'll sit down like, hey, yeah, such and such, you know. And, and I know we've made day night a priority, um, even before we got married. Mm-hmm. Day night was always a big thing for us, and I feel like we've kept it up pretty well. And yeah. just in marriage as well, Tuesdays is our night. Tuesday night. <laughs> it's funny, our friends know it too. They're like, oh, it's Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, it's Tuesday night, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, is it okay? Is it not yeah. okay? You know, so. Um, just trying to, I feel like one thing we have struggled with a little bit in COVID is just like keeping it fun. I like to um, get out and do things and being at home is fine. So 
before when we started date night, it was like, okay, you know, one night or one week we'll stay in and try to find something yeah. to do, and the next week we'll go out and actually experience something, you know. Yeah. So with COVID happened, everything shut down. <laughs> so that was an adjustment for us because it's like, okay, you know, we do have those weeks where we are in, but I'm like, I want to do it all the time because we're at home 24 7 now. <laughs> yeah. um, so just trying to make sure we're keeping it fun, that was a little bit of a challenge because, like, okay, we can't really go out and do certain things. Yeah. So, like, what can we do to make sure that we're still having fun because I'm like that's one thing that I know for just our relationship we like to have fun together mm -hmm. and we can make fun out of anything I feel like so yeah. you know we can have fun here but then a piece of me always like okay I just want to get outside we ain't got to spend no money but I just want to get outside and do something yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that was something that you know just to kind of keep us on the show like okay we got a little creative um y'all saw our one of our vlogs where we just had a day night movie at home or yeah, we had yeah, day night at home. Day night yeah, so go watch it if you haven't. <laughs> but we did day night at home, so we try to keep it creative. And it's funny, we actually did something we have been doing. We just actually filmed it, <laughs> I guess. So yeah. we have done this yeah, before. We, yeah, we've done this before. Yeah, so just make sure we're keeping it fun. <laughs> you know, we're at home 24-7. We're staring at each other 24-7 now. So, like, okay, how can we keep it interesting and exciting mm -hmm. and all the things? So that was one thing that we did. So all in all, <laughs> that's how we resolve conflict. I mean, yeah. We kind of went just, off on a tangent there. Yeah. But just talk it out. Yeah, just talk it out. Um, talk it and out. I guess we talked about because the date night and whatnot. But yeah. yeah, but date night's probably one of the nights where we actually like plan to do something or like when said we just sit on the couch and just talk. Like, and then just start like, how's your day? Or how are you doing, first of all? Yeah. You know, we just ask each other how each just person is doing. In. And sometimes it's like a revelation, like, oh, I didn't know you were going through all that. Mm -hmm. Or it may just be like, okay, I'm glad to know that you're still doing good. You know, yeah. you see each other every day, but sometimes you don't really. Check, yeah, check in, in with that like, person because you know, sometimes I learn about him he's stressed and I'm like you could have fooled me <laughs> <laughs> you know I never would have known until I asked him that yeah. you know so I feel like check-ins are good mm -hmm. and that's a fine date night it ain't got to be a formal like okay let's get dressed up let's go out they can literally just be sitting on the couch that you see behind us <laughs> and just having like just a good conversation Chicken. like yeah. you used to do back when y'all you know you was dating yeah no, talk about phone, time. Two, three, yeah, I don't fall asleep on the phone yes yeah, so, you know, uh, you know. you just fall asleep on the couch now so yeah. I guess <laughs> just, do yeah, those, just yeah. doing little check-ins and I'm pretty sure we told y'all that before that's something that we have kept up so we didn't want to tell y'all that like that is something that we actually do keep up with is our day nights and check-ins we have yeah. one a night <laughs> so yeah. yeah all right now so basically what just we last point basically what we learned in this whole first year of marriage you know being COVID and all is I'll get mine what Brielle's gonna give hers basically I learned that you kind of learn your spouse I, I think the first year of marriage we were it was that uh what's that what you call it like power struggle like we're yeah. kind of like a power struggle like mm -hmm. you're trying to establish your dominance I'm trying to establish mm -hmm. mine you know that first year so I think it's just like you just kind of eventually like getting to a groove with each other yeah. sort of you kind of like you know what to expect from me i know expect from you like yeah. you know i'm probably gonna put the the, the dirty clothes in the wrong thing or you know something like yeah. that <laughs> and so eventually you start letting that stuff go like oh my god it's just quincy being quincy mm -hmm. or it's just real being real so i think it's just kind of let that person be who they are mm -hmm. is what i'm trying to say like i know she was quite married when you married when you married a person you kind of know who they are but you keep learning more about them yeah. then you just kind of just learn like that's just who they are as a person. You just accept them in all like yeah. flaws and the good and the bad, basically. So mm -hmm. I think that's why I learned. Just accept them for who they are. I know who Brielle is going to be. Mm -hmm. She may change down the road, but for the most part, she's this, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just learn. Yeah, just to, she is who she is, you know. It's, it's, there's <laughs> great things about who she is and there's some things like, <laughs> oh, you know, I disagree <laughs> with that, but yeah. I know that's how she's going to respond. So, you yeah. know, just... just you know, you just kind of learn and learn <laughs> spouse and go with it. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I would say like every day is a new day. And I don't know if that's just because we've been at home working from home or whatever. Mm -hmm. But Squinty Image, I will agree. Like we have learned new things. Because I'm like, we're always learning things about each other. Because there's still some times where I feel bad if I'm out and they be like, oh, let's grab dessert for this person like what's Quincy like and I'd be like he likes our dessert you know <laughs> <laughs> or not like it <laughs> Damn, <bro. laughs> I don't know I just think of like random dates it's like okay does Quincy like this and I'd be like oh snap like we ain't had this discussion yet yeah, you know yeah, yeah. and it's just little things so you kind of learn you know different things or I know he's gonna do this or I know he's gonna do that like he mm -hmm. said so every day is just kind of a new day to get to know your spouse basically um everything's gonna be different what happened last week is not gonna be the same the next week and next week and next week or whatever um i can definitely say that for myself what may have worked a few months ago probably out the window by now you know so 
um, it's just like you said, learning each other's groove and what we're gonna do, and then you know, just working with it. It's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> right. I know a lot of people think that of us, as you mentioned before, like, oh yeah, the perfect relationship, mm-hmm. y'all are amazing. We don't give y'all everything, you know. Not that everything, <laughs> not that it's bad, Man, right? But we don't give y'all everything. We, I feel like we do a really good job of like cleaning up the mess that we have made with each other, basically, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. So just making sure we don't let it spill out into other things or whatever. I'm like, I always tell people like, we could argue the whole way to your house. You would never know who walked in the house. We'll go on each respective corners. We'll act like nothing is wrong, and you know we may link up in the middle of the party like, okay, you you still mad? You still mad? <laughs> you still mad? You still mad? So of course that irritates you even more. You still mad? <laughs> you know, she did. She did a smile right there. Exactly. She ain't mad no more. Ain't mad no more. Look, I didn't link up my friends. I had a drink. I'm good. I'm good. You, you know. forgot all about it. You forgot all about it. So yeah. So that's why I was like. You may see this perception. I mean, yes, everything is very good right now with our relationship. Mm-hmm. I pray it continues that way. But um, like I said, we don't usually share every single time because you don't want to share everything. You know, you want to give some, you know, some advice along the way. Like, oh, we have dealt with that. Let me tell you how we went. You know, how we went mm-hmm. through it. But I feel like not going wood <laughs> that we have handled conflict very well in our relationship Mm -hmm. um so where that makes things a little bit easier so not to say that we don't have conflict Mm -hmm. but we're both mature enough to know how to handle it to not make it a bigger issue or like i said we don't we haven't not we not going with again we haven't had that knockout drag out fight you know we have had our disagreements and conflicts Mm -hmm. but it hasn't escalated to the point where we're like, okay, everybody just stop, you know, where right. we got to really reset. We're not those type of people. We are both very, like, loving people. Yeah. We yeah. both like to have fun. So, the health situation, if you a fighter, good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but for us, we just, like, look, we don't like conflict. We avoid it at all costs. Mm-hmm. So, of course, we're going to try to work through it as best as we can. So, yeah. All right. So, overall, first year of marriage has been great. We're looking forward to what the next year brings us, 2021. Everybody fighting, trying to get out of 2020. <laughs> I know, right? For real. So, yeah, yeah, but um, overall, everything has been good. We're looking forward to the following year. Um, Of course, we're trying to take y'all along with us as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Um, Traveling, babies, house. Not in that particular order, mm-hmm. but somewhere in there, you right. gonna get a taste of it. But yeah, but other than that, everything's been great. Mm-hmm. We're doing good. First year went pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Yes, yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. Huh? So yeah, we're looking forward to much more. But we appreciate you guys tuning in with us. Stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, it's coming here soon. soon. <laughs> and yeah. Drop yeah. a comment if y'all what y'all want to see. Oh yeah, yeah. Ask, tell, us, tell, yeah, us. Ask, tell us what y'all want to see. We'll do it. Tell us yeah. reasonable. We'll do it. So tell us what y'all want to see. <laughs> know, right? and we might do. We might do one of your videos. So yeah. yeah. So y'all exactly. feel free to drop a comment or what y'all want to see. So yeah. or what y'all want to hear. Yeah, yeah, we're always looking for new ideas. Yep. Yeah. Quincy, up you got a giveaway going on. So if y'all want to support Bree here. <laughs> Quincy in the giveaway. If you win, I get half. And the famous words are the best. You better stop saying that. Everybody going to get half for real. I know, right? For real. But no. Anyways, we appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll catch y'all on the next one. And we is out. All right. Peace. Bye. Bye.